you heard of something called water fasting? It's a type of fast that restricts everything except, well, water. Most people only water fast for 72 hours at most, but what if you did this for the rest of your life? You'd be fine, right? Haha, ha, yeah. Not so much. What happens to your stomach without food? What damage will you do to your organs? And how many days can you last? Water is pretty important. And when I say pretty important, I mean absolutely essential. Your own body is 60% water. That's a big chunk if you ask me. Drinking only water can have some pretty big perks. It can lower the risk of heart disease, diabetes and even certain cancers. Sounds great, right? Do you think you could try this water-only diet? You could? Well, hey, I love your energy, but, uh, I've got some bad news. You've got 70 days. Tops. Day 1, you start your water-only diet and you'd be feeling okay. Good even. By day 2, you'd start to feel hungry and angry, or as the scientific community calls it, hangry. That's because your body would be running out of its glucose supply. Glucose is your body's primary energy source, and you stock up on it when you consume carbohydrates. But now that you've sworn off food, your body would be frantically searching for its next glucose fix. After day 5, you could lose 2 kilograms, 4.4 pounds, every day. This is due to the 1-2 punch of dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. So, what happens next? By day 10, your body would have adjusted to the lack of food and would be in a state of ketosis. This is where your body would start breaking down fat for energy instead of glucose. You might even feel a little better, but don't be fooled. You're a hurting unit. The more fat reserves you have, the longer you'd survive. But once all your fat is gone, you'd have nothing to break down but muscle. And in case you forgot, your heart is an organ made up of muscle. This can be incredibly dangerous. When your heart lacks fuel, your pulse and blood pressure will tank. That's because you couldn't pump blood normally anymore. Your proteins would be all broken down at this point, and you'd be barely able to think. That's because you'd be starving. By day 15, your gastrointestinal system would be wrecked. This would cause stomach pain, vomiting and, my personal favorite, bacterial infections. Day 30, and things would be looking even worse. Your body would be in a state of malnutrition, and you'd feel weaker than ever. You can look forward to various health problems, like dizziness, headaches and difficulty concentrating. As the days went on, you'd continue to deteriorate. By day 40, you'd experience more severe symptoms, such as extreme fatigue, rapid weight loss and muscle wasting. You'd also have to worry about serious health problems like kidney failure or sepsis. By day 50, you, uh, you don't look so good. You'd be extremely weak and unable to do much on your own. You'd also be at high risk of death from organ failure or infection. Did you know that most people die not from starvation, but from infectious diseases? Yeah, your immune system suffers while you're perpetually starving because of the deficiency of vitamins and minerals. This leaves you open to all sorts of nasty germs. If you made it to day 70, it's unlikely that you'd survive much longer on a water-only diet. You'd be severely malnourished and reeling from a greatest hits compilation of health problems. But hey, you did it. And we're sending the medics to you right now. Was it worth it? Well, no. Not really. A water-only diet is not sustainable in the long term. A balanced diet is essential for maintaining good health. It's kind of fascinating though, right? Despite being on the brink, you still made it to 70 days. What will? If you drank only water for the rest of your life, you would likely survive, but your diet would be deficient in essential nutrients, and you may experience health problems over time. Water is essential for human survival, and it is necessary for many bodily functions, including digestion, transportation of nutrients, and removal of waste products. However, Water alone does not provide all the essential nutrients your body needs to function correctly. Without proper nutrition, your body may suffer from malnourishment, which can lead to a weakened immune system, decreased bone density, and impaired brain function. Additionally, a lack of nutrients can cause a variety of deficiency diseases, such as scurvy, which is caused by a lack of vitamin C. Drinking only water can also lead to an imbalance in electrolytes, which are minerals that help regulate many bodily functions including nerve and muscle function. An imbalance in electrolytes can cause a variety of symptoms, including fatigue, 
muscle weakness, and heart palpitations. Furthermore, drinking only water may not provide enough energy for your body, especially if you are physically active. You need carbohydrates, proteins, and fats to provide energy for your body to function correctly. In conclusion, while water is essential for human survival, it cannot provide all the nutrients your body needs to function correctly. Drinking only water for the rest of your life would likely lead to malnourishment and health problems over time. It is essential to have a well-balanced diet that includes a variety of foods to ensure your body gets all the essential nutrients it needs.